Now these, these are very easy sum, sums there. Hey, we got exterior angle. Just be careful there. Exterior ang angle, please. A, B, C. A, B, C are the three unknowns. Now, how do you find that? Come on, think. This angle is 91. You are fi finding C. That angle was 75. You got to find B. Right. There are many, many ways, ways to do. Right. So, let's just do one way only. Opposite angles add up to 180. What is the reason? Because it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Right. So, that's a 75. So, this, this should be, come on, 105 right degrees 105 and 75 add up to 180 what do you think of this exterior angle then come on is there a, is there a way is there a shortcut exterior angle equals to interior opposite so that should come back to 75 so that angle should be 75 degrees right uh, now what is, what, what, what is C now what is C what do you think of C there come on check C please that's C. It's a 91. That should be 89. All right. 89. Okay. 89 plus 190. 90 add 90 will be 180. So you just fill those blanks, please. All right. Fill those three blanks. Let's go to question number three. Question three, please. A actually, what you what you can can do, apply these these two laws and sit back, uh, switch off this uh, lesson now. You solve those sums, uh, take one hour time, come back and then check. All right. Uh, okay. Now, question three. We are in algebra, please, here. The, the moment you see x and y and z, well, we don't really know any angle here. And we are in al algebra, but the rule applies. Well, the rule is same still. Okay. Uh, what do you think of those angles there? Come on, think. This is, uh, let, let's call it A, B, C, D, right? That's A, that's B, that's C, that's D. The opposite angles add up to 180. That we know, right? Opposite angles add up to 180. 1x add 5x. 5 lots of x, you're adding to 1x. So you got 6x, right? So opposite angles add up to 180. So 6x's should be equal to 180. So if 6x is equals to 180, what do you think of 1? 6 lots of x is 180. 1x must, must be divide 180 by 6. Your answer should be 30, right? Okay, fill in the blank there. x is equals to 30 degrees. People, that's a simple basic algebra, please. Now let's look at those two. It's a 4y add 1y, right? Opposite angles add up to 180. Again, the same rule here, please, right? So 4y add 1y equals to 5y. So let's solve that here. It's a 5y, okay? 5 lots of y equals to 180. Now get rid of that 5, please, right? So it's a times 5. You transfer that or divide both sides by, by 5, and it should be 180 divided by 5. You should know your your uh, uh, fract fractions, please, right? 180 over 5. Let's see how much it comes to. 5 goes into 18 three times. 5, 3 is 15. You are left with 30 and a 6 there. So the answer is 36. But please listen. 36 is 1y, okay? 1y is 36. And you go and fill the blanks there. It simply says 36. They didn't ask you to find the full angle there. If you need to find 5x, you times the 5 by 1x value, which is 36. So 5 times 36 will give you that angle. And and 4 times, sorry, it is, it's not x, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is right, this is right. x, sorry, sorry, 5x, please. Uh, 5 times x, x is that, x is that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. X is that. So 5 times 3, 0 will give that full angle. If you need to find 4Y, it's 4 times a Y, and Y value is that. Right? Question number 4 now. Now, this is a little bit, it's getting a bit uh, harder now. So we use some other page to actually say how to solve. Well, again, the, the concept is the same. If you call them as A, B, C, D, 
opposite angles add up to 180. So you add those two and equate that to 180. Right, x plus 20 and 2x plus 10. So I will take you through here, please watch. So what we have is x plus 20. We are adding to another angle there, which is going to be 2x plus 10. Right, uh, those are the opposite angles, please. Right, now this should be equals to, right, x plus 20 plus 2x plus 10. That should be equal to 180. Now you know how to solve that, right? Collecting like terms, you all know, right? Collecting like like terms. Two lot, lot, lots of x and 1x gives you 3x. So go there, it's a 3x. 20 add 10, well, they are like terms, please. 20 add 10 should be a 30. 3x plus 30 equals to 180, right? You transfer that 30 slowly to the right-hand side and see what you get, okay? So... 3x equals to 150, right? I'm, I'm not wasting time here. This is not al algebra lesson, please, right? So 180 minus 30 is one, 150, and 3 lots of x is 150. 1x is nothing but 50, right? That's how you need to find x value, all right? Now, if you look at the, the actual sum there, it says x plus 20 is that much, 2x plus 10 is this much. If you put the x value there, if you put the x value, which is 50, you put the value here, 50 plus 20, that was actually 70. Obviously, if that's a 70, do you agree this angle should have been 110? Come on, opposite angles add up to 180. You do the same thing for those two also, A and C, and you will get the value for Y and then fill those two blanks there, please. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Uh, let's look at page number two now. Question uh, number five or six, what, whatever, right? Page number two. Page two, please. Uh, question five. Page two, question five. There it is. As I told you, as I said, Whatever you did in, in part one also will play a role. So you should not forget those three rules. We apply them here now. Right. Uh, I can see a cyclic quadrilateral. Right. That's a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. And then, of course, we got a center point there. Just be care careful. That's a radius. This is also radius. Now, they want us to find x and k values. Tell me. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, please. Supplementary, 180. 5x add 1x should be equal to 180. Happy? 180. Okay. So, let's, let's go and solve that sum here slowly. It's a 1x add 5x. So, is a 6x, right? So, you say 6x equals to 180. Right, where do you get that 180 from? They are supplementary angles because it's a cyclic quadrilateral, right? So, if 6x equals to 180, what do you think of 1x? Right, 180, you divide by 6. So, 180 divided by 6, answer should be 30, right? 30. So go back to your, your drawing now, go back to the drawing and then fill those blanks, right? Right. We got the x value as 30, right? So let's let's look at there. It's 30. Fill that blank, please. That x was 30. Now, from the part one geometry of circles, what do you know about? angle at the center and angle at the circumference. What do you know about that? That should be double this. Remember the star and the, and, and the dot, right? So that should be double. So if x is 30, k should be 60. k should be 60 people, right? That's simple and very easy. So fill those blank, blanks there, but show all these steps. You will, you will get marks. At a later stage, I will show you how to give reasons as, 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 as well, right? 
But uh, now we simply need to learn applying the rules and finding those unknowns. After that, I will explain to you how to give valid reasons. Right.